Live. And of course, uh, this Thursday, uh, we are all excited because uh, Robert Crave was due to be in Des yes. Moines performing. And a lot of people were excited about that. But we were especially excited because we found out that our friend James Bean was going to be opening for Robert Crave. So what we did, we got on the horn Not right the away. the James Bean fans oh, out there. Big time. And we said, hey, you're going to be performing an opening for Cray. You need to come in and open on our show first. And he said, no problem whatsoever. And everybody realized what has happened over the past week or so as the Robert this. Cray show got you know, delayed. It got postponed. James Bean joining Good us morning, right now. Sir. He is in Des Moines. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. Good, but the good news is uh, we just learned that uh, sounds like you and Robert Cray have been rescheduled already. Give everybody the details as to when the show is going to be. Yeah, that's correct. So, yeah, it was supposed to be, uh, uh, you know. Tonight, well, yeah. Now, no. Yeah, now the rescheduled date is uh, for September 2nd. And uh, same, same location, same schedule, everything else. I'll go on at 8 p.m., play for about half an hour, then he'll go on and uh, and wow the rest of us. So it'll there be you wonderful. Go. So you rock them and then he'll roll them, right? Is that the whole idea? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very Something cool. Like but a lot of people in this town are James Bean fans, and they were so happy to hear that you were opening for a legend like Cray. And uh, actually, one of the guys uh, I want to let you know about one of your newest fans is our general manager, our new general manager. Uh, new you know, to town? David Loving, uh, new into town, stumbled across you performing here in Des Moines and says, uh, basically, you rock. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, it was a real pleasure to meet him, and he, he was very complimentary. It was a cool thing. Yeah, so what are you doing now? Let's get everybody up to speed as to how, what you do uh, for a living, because not only are you a great performer, uh, you help teach people too, don't you? Yeah, that's kind of my quote-unquote day job. Uh, in 2009, I opened Central Iowa Music Lab. We are a, a music lesson studio kind of in the, just off of 42nd Street, kind of in the in the Roosevelt Shopping Center area, and we have... Over the years, we've uh, amassed, uh, currently we're at about 225 students, and we teach uh, everything from guitar and piano and drums to, we have what we call our rock lab classes, which are, we get students in a room together, and, and they learn songs, and they play a concert more than our regular recitals. They go out and play concerts in uh, in bars and that kind of thing, and uh, parents love it. We love it. It gives them a positive outlet for, uh, especially, you know, as you enter those preteen, teen years. Uh, getting people in a room together and and playing music is uh, is a beautiful thing, and we uh, we're more than fortunate to help facilitate that. All right, now what's happening uh, with your uh, company, with your school, with the changes that are being made uh, here because of the virus that's out there? Yeah, so we, um, you know, I've had experience in the past with teaching remote lessons, and I knew that it could be done. But it's just kind of, you know, fortunately, I've kind of done a lot of, a lot of the trial and error. So I've been able to show my instructors and kind of instruct them on how to go about doing it. So all of our instructors as of, well, we're fortunate right now in that this was actually spring break, supposedly, and uh, and, none, and we were supposed to be off for the week. Then now starting this coming Sunday, all of our instructors will be set up to teach remotely. And in fact, we're still taking on new students. So if anybody out there is interested in some music lessons, hit us up. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, especially yeah. with the downtime people have. This might be the perfect opportunity to jump online. A little bit of downtime. Yep. Okay, perfect. CentralIowaMusicLab.com. All right, All right James, uh, you have your guitar. We need to hear a little song from you. Yes. Can we hear something? Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is a tune off my uh, debut solo album. This one's called Maya. <laughs> Just 
Now, you have an online concert uh, coming up here. Tell us a little bit about that, would you? Yeah, uh, March 28th, we're going to do, you know, uh, a friend of mine from Nashville, her name is Caitlin Nickel Thomas. She uh, sent me a message and said, hey, I'm going to, all my gigs down here are canceled. So <laughs> um, and she's a wonderful one. She's originally from Indianola. She's a fantastic musician, fiddle, fiddle vocals, all of it. And uh, she's going to come up and we're going to do a concert online. Uh, you can find it on my uh, Facebook music page, uh, James Bean Music, and uh, it'll be March 28th at 7 o'clock, and, uh, you know, online donations are welcomed, but not necessary, and we're just going to, we're just going to play, you know, she, she's been a friend for a long time, and uh, we don't get to play very often, so it'll be a nice reason to be able to do that. That is really cool. How about that? And then let's look ahead real quick to summer uh, and, and some of the things that you guys do, a fabulous day camp uh, for kids, rock and play. So talk about that a little bit, and maybe because I know registration deadlines are coming up for that. Yeah, so we, uh, we've, um, uh, you know, we've been looking at what I was saying before about getting uh, young people together, kind of, you know, getting them, you know, uh, for all of our, our positives about communication via remote devices, uh, it's not it's not getting in a room with people. It's not, especially not playing music in a room with people and learning how to interact, as, as, especially as you enter those pre -teen, teen years. So we have come up with the Rock and Play Camp, and it's going to be a day camp. In, uh, we're going to hold it at uh, Westview Church in Waukee. Our, our facility is just not big enough, and we, we expect a big turnout for this. And uh, it's going to be 9 to 2.30, Monday through Friday. We have three separate weeks, uh, June, 6th through, uh, June 8th through 12th, July 6th through 10th, and August 3rd through 7th. We'll be doing that, and it will just spend the day playing music with people and, and just teach different activities to help you grow as a musician. Musical experience is not required. You can come in knowing absolutely nothing about music and, and still have a great time. That is awesome. And you're going to have a great time. We just learned uh, this morning uh, via James Bean that the Robert Cray show that was supposed to be tonight rescheduled September 2nd. You're still going to open for Cray, which is really cool. We are looking forward to that. And we're looking forward to you playing us into our commercial break. Can you do that for us, buddy? Absolutely, absolutely. Got a tune here. This is my, the first track on my solo album. This is called Ring Me Out. All right, well, ring us out, James Bean. <laughs> Talk to 